What is the Fujita and Pearson tornado scale? The Fujita and Pearson tornado scale was developed in 1971 by University of Chicago Professor T. Theodore Fujita, 1920-1998, and Alan Pearson, 1925. Who was then the director of the National Severe Storms Forecast Center? It ranked tornadoes by their wind speed, path, length, and width. Tornadoes are not assessed based on actual wind speed and damage. But rather the scale determines wind speed based on damage. Sometimes known simply as the Fujita scale, the rankings ranged from F0, very weak, to F6, inconceivable. F0 light damage, damage to trees, billboards, and chimneys. F1 moderate damage, mobile homes pushed off their foundations and cars pushed off roads. F2 considerable damage, roofs torn off, mobile homes demolished, and large trees uprooted. F3 severe damage, even well constructed homes torn apart, trees uprooted, and cars lifted off the ground. F4 devastating damage, Houses leveled, cars thrown, and objects become flying missiles. F5 Incredible damage, structures lifted off foundations and carried away, cars become missiles. Less than 2% of tornadoes are in this category. F6 and F6 tornado has never been recorded, but we surmise the damage would be devastating. What conditions are necessary for seed germination? NCE the seed is protected and enclosed in a seed coat, it ceases further development and becomes dormant. Seeds remain dormant until the optimum conditions of temperature. Oxygen and moisture are available for germination and further development. In addition to these external factors, some seeds undergo a series of enzymatic and biochemical changes prior to germination. Which bear lives in a tropical rainforest? The Malayan sun bear, Ursus malayanus, is one of the rarest animals in the tropical forests of Sumatra. The Malay Peninsula, Borneo, Burma, Thailand, and southern China. The smallest bear species, with a length of 3.3 to 4.6 feet, 1 to 1.4 meters. And weighing 60 to 143 pounds, 27 to 65 kilograms, it has a strong, stocky body. Against its black, short fur it has a characteristic orange-yellow colored crescent across its chest. Which according to legend represents the rising sun. With powerful paws having long. Curved claws to help it climb trees in the dense forests, it is an expert tree climber. The sun bear tears at tree bark to expose insects, larvae, and the nests of bees and termites. Fruit, coconut palms, and small rodents are also part of its diet. Sleeping and sunbathing during the day, it is active at night.
unusually shy and retiring, cautious, and intelligent. The sun bear is declining in population as its native forests are being destroyed. What is the origin of the expression do not fold, spindle, or mutilate? This is the inscription on an IBM punched card. Frequently. Office workers organize papers and forms by stapling or folding them together, or by impaling them on a spindle. Because Hall Aerith, punched, card readers scan uniform rectangular holes in a precise arrangement. Any damage to the physical card makes it unusable. In the 1950s and 1960s, when punched cards became widespread. Manufacturers printed a warning on each card, IBM's do not fold, spindle, or mutilate was the best known. In 1964, the student revolution at the University of California. Berkeley used the phrase as a symbol of authority and regimentation. What are the steps of the scientific method? Research scientists follow these steps, state a hypothesis. Design an experiment to prove the hypothesis. Assemble the materials and set up the experiment. Do the experiment and collect data. Analyze the data using quantitative methods. Draw conclusions. Write up and publish the results. What are some of the accomplishments achieved in reducing air pollution since the Clean Air Act was passed in 1970? One of the goals of the EPA was to set national air quality standards for six common air pollutants carbon monoxide. Lead nitrogen dioxide, ozone, particulate matter, and sulfur dioxide. Since passage of the Clean Air Act in 1970, the amount of these six pollutants in the air has decreased by more than 50%. Other accomplishments are, the reduction by nearly 70% of air toxics from large industrial sources. Chemical plants, petroleum refineries, and paper mills. New cars are more than 90% cleaner production of most ozone-depleting chemicals has ceased. When was the first atomic theory proposed? John Dalton, 1766-1844, an English natural philosopher, chemist, physicist, and teacher, developed the concepts of an atomic theory in the early 19th century. He published a new system of chemical philosophy in 1808. His main concepts of atomic theory may be summarized as all matter solid, liquid, and gas consists of tiny, indivisible particles called atoms. All atoms of a given element have the same mass and are identical, but are different from the atoms of different elements. 
chemical reactions involve the rearrangement of combinations of those atoms. Not the destruction of atoms. When elements react to form compounds, they combine in simple, whole number ratios. How hot is lightning? The temperature of the air around a bolt of lightning is about 54,000 degrees Fahrenheit 30,000 degrees Celsius. Which is six times hotter than the surface of the sun, yet many times people survive being struck by a bolt of lightning. American Park Ranger Roy Sullivan, 1912 to 1983, for example, was hit by lightning seven times between 1942 and 1977. In cloud-to-ground lightning, its energy seeks the shortest route to Earth, which could be through a person's shoulder, down the side of the body, through the leg, and to the ground. As long as the lightning does not pass across the heart or spinal column, the victim usually does not die. What are the sources of air pollution? Transportation is one of the major contributors to air pollution. Other significant sources of air pollution are fuel combustion, burning fossil fuels, and industrial processes, such as refineries, iron and steel mills, paper mills, and chemical plants. Can cells ever change functions? The more specialized function that a cell performs, the less likely it is for the cell to change jobs within an organism. However, there are some cells that have unspecialized functions and are able to adapt to the changing needs of the body. In mammals, a good example of cells with adapting functions would be bone marrow cells, which are responsible for producing different types of cells in the blood. Bone marrow cells produce red blood cells and five types of white blood cells. Slime molds of the kingdom protist to have cells that are capable of drastically changing their function. The cellular adaptations that can occur in slime molds allow them to change. From single celled amoebas to multicellular, reproductive spore producers. What does it mean when a lake is brown or blue? When a lake is brown, it usually indicates that eutrophication is occurring. This process refers to the premature aging of a lake, when nutrients are added to the water. Usually due to runoff, which may be either agricultural or industrial in origin. Due to this rich supply of nutrients, blue-green algae begin to take over the green algae in the lake. And food webs within the lake are disturbed, leading to an eventual loss of fish. When a lake is blue, this usually means that the lake has been damaged by acid precipitation. The gradual drop in pH caused by exposure to acid rain causes disruption of the food webs. 
eventually killing most organisms. The end result is clear water, which reflects the low productivity of the lake. What are some examples of user-generated content on the World Wide Web? Blogs, short for web blogs, are akin to modern-day diaries. Or logs, of thoughts and activities of the author. In the late 1990s software became available to create blogs using templates. Therefore making them accessible to a wide audience as a publishing tool. Blogs may be created by single individuals or by groups of contributors. Blog entries are organized in reverse chronological order with the most recent entries. Being seen first. Entries may include text, audio, images, video, and links to other sites. Blog authors may invite reader feedback via comments. Which allows for dialogue between blog authors and readers. However, once posted, blog entries may not be edited. Wikis, from the Hawaiian word wiki wiki, which means fast. Are web pages that allow users to add and edit material in a collaborative fashion. The first wikis were developed in the mid 1990s by Ward Cunningham. 1949, as a way for users to quickly add content to web pages. The advantage of the software was that the users did not need to know complicated languages to add material to the web. One of the best known wikis is Wikipedia, an online, collaborative encyclopedia. Although entries to Wikipedia need to come from published sources and be based on fact, rather than the writer's opinion, there is no overall editorial authority on the site. Podcasts are broadcast media that may be created by anyone and are available on demand. Unlike traditional broadcast media, radio and television. Podcasts are easily created with a microphone, video camera, computer, and connection to the web. Podcasting does not require sophisticated recording or transmitting equipment. Most podcasts are broadcast on a weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly schedule. While traditional broadcast media follow a set schedule. Podcasts may be downloaded onto a computer or a portable device such as a MP3 player and listened to whenever it is convenient. What is e-cycling? Cycling is the reuse and recycling of electronic equipment. Donating used electronic equipment for use by others is the environmentally preferred alternative to discarding used electronics. If an electronic device cannot be reused, it should be recycled. The recycling rate for electronic devices is only 18%. With the remaining amount of disposed electronics being discarded in landfills. One of the goals of the plug-in to e-cycling campaign, a partnership between the EPA and leading consumer. Electronics manufacturers and retailers, is to increase the recycling rate of electronics to 
In 2008, the plug-in to eCycling Partners recycled 34,000 tons. 30,844 metric tons of used consumer electronics. When offered a choice between plastic or paper bags for your groceries, which should you choose? The answer is neither. Both are environmentally harmful and the question of which is the more damaging has no clear-cut answer. 12 million barrels of oil, a non-renewable resource, are required to produce 100 billion plastic bags. Plastic bags degrade slowly in landfills and can harm wildlife if swallowed. And producing them pollutes the environment. In contrast, 35 million trees are cut down to produce 25 million brown paper. Bags accompanied by air and water pollution during the manufacturing process. Although each can be recycled. The EPA estimates that only 1% of plastic bags and 20% of paper bags are recycled. Instead of choosing between paper and plastic bags, bring your own reusable canvas or string containers to the store. And save and reuse any paper or plastic bags you get. Does water running down a drain rotate in a different? Direction in the northern versus the southern hemisphere? There is a widespread belief that water draining from a bathtub, sink, or toilet bowl in the northern hemisphere swirls counterclockwise while in the Southern Hemisphere the water drains clockwise due to the Coriolis effect. First described by the French mathematician and engineer Gaspard Gustave de Coriolis, 1792-1843. The Coriolis effect is the apparent deflection of air masses and fluids caused by Earth's rotation. Although it does have an effect on fluids over great distances or long lengths of time. Such as hurricanes, it is too weak to control fluids on a small scale, such as bathtubs, sinks, or toilet bowls. These can drain in either direction in both hemispheres. The direction is determined by numerous factors including the shape of the container. The shape of the drain, the initial water velocity and the tilt of the sink. What is the essential relationship between the heart and lungs? The teamwork of the heart and lungs ensures that the body has a constant supply of oxygen for metabolic activities and that the major waste product of metabolism, carbon dioxide, is continuously removed. This occurs through the pulmonary circulation. With the heart supplying blood that has moved through the body to the lungs. The lungs connect to the heart through blood vessels. The pulmonary artery delivers deoxygenated blood to the lungs from the right ventricle. And the pulmonary vein delivers oxygenated blood to the left atrium of the heart.
What is the dew point? The dew point is the temperature at which air is full of moisture and cannot store any more. When the relative humidity is 100%. The dew point is either the same as or lower than the air temperature. If a fine film of air contacts a surface and is chilled to below the dew point, then actual dew is formed. This is why dew often forms at night or early morning, as the temperature of the air falls. The amount of water vapor the air can hold also decreases. Excess water vapor then condenses as very small drops on whatever it touches. Fog and clouds develop when sizable volumes of air are cooled to temperatures below the dew point. Who was the first person to attempt a color standardization scheme for minerals? The German mineralogist Abraham Gottlob Werner, c. 1750 to 1817, devised a method of describing minerals by their external characteristics, including color. He worked out an arrangement of colors and color names, illustrated by an actual set of minerals. Which hurricane names have been retired? Once a hurricane has done a great deal of damage and caused loss of life. Its name is retired from the six-year list cycle. Countries affected by such hurricanes will petition the WMO to have the name retired and replaced with a new name. Is it harmful to crack one's knuckles? A study of 300 knuckle crackers found no apparent connection between joint cracking and arthritis. Other damage was observed. Including soft tissue damage to the joint capsule and a decrease in grip strength. The rapid, repeated stretching of the ligaments surrounding. The joint is most likely the cause of damage to the soft tissue. How was it discovered that microorganisms are effective against bacterial infections? British microbiologist Alexander Fleming, 1881-1955 Happened upon the discovery of penicillin's use as an antibacterial agent. In 1928 Fleming was researching staphylococci at St. Mary's Hospital in London. As part of his investigation, he had spread staphylococci on several petri dishes before going on vacation. Upon his return he noticed a green-yellow mold contaminating one of the petri dishes. The staphylococci had failed to grow near the mold. He identified the mold as being of the species of Penicillium notatum. Further investigation proved that the staphylococci and other gram-positive organisms are
killed by P. Notatum. It was not until the 1940s that Howard Florey, 1898-1968, and Ernst Boris Chain, 1906-1979, rediscovered penicillin and were able to isolate it for medical use. In 1945 Fleming, Florey, and Chain shared the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine for their work on penicillin. Which species of mosquito causes malaria and yellow fever in humans? The bite of the female mosquito of the genus Anopheles can contain the parasite of the genus Plasmodium. Which causes malaria, a serious tropical infectious disease affecting 200 to 300 million people worldwide. More than 1 million African babies and children die from the disease annually. The Aedes aegypti mosquito transmits yellow fever, a serious infectious disease characterized by jaundice. Giving the patient yellowish skin, 10% of the patients die. Where does Isinglass come from? Isinglass is the purest form of animal gelatin. It is manufactured from the swimming bladder of sturgeon and other fishes. It is used in the clarification of wine and beer as well as in the making of some cements. Jams, jellies, and soups. What is at the center of Earth? Geophysicists have held since the 1940s that Earth's interior core is a partly crystallized sphere of iron and nickel that is gradually cooling and expanding. As it cools, this inner core releases energy to an outer core called the fluid core, which is composed of iron, nickel, and lighter elements, including sulfur and oxygen. Another model called the nuclear earth model holds that there is a small core, perhaps 5 miles, 8 kilometers, wide, of uranium and plutonium surrounded by a nickel-silicon compound. The uranium and plutonium work as a natural nuclear reactor, generating radiating energy in the form of heat, which in turn drives charged particles to create Earth's magnetic field. The traditional model of Earth's core is still dominant. However, scientists have yet to disprove the nuclear Earth model. What is biomass energy? The catch-all term biomass includes all the living organisms in an area. Wood, crops, and crop waste, and wastes of plant, mineral, and animal matter are part of the biomass. Much of it is in garbage, which can be burned for heat energy or allowed to decay and produce methane gas. However, some crops are grown specifically for energy, including sugar cane, sorghum, ocean kelp, water hyacinth, and various species of trees. 
it has been estimated that 90% of U.S. waste products could be burned to provide as much energy as 100 million tons of coal, 20% will not burn, but can be recycled. The use of biomass energy is significantly higher in developing countries where electricity and motor vehicles are scarcer. Why is acid-free paper important? Acid-free paper is important for the preservation of printed materials on paper. Acidic papers deteriorate quickly. Papers treated with an alkaline reserve. Most frequently chalk, neutralizes the acids extending the lifespan of the paper. Why do cells die? Cells die for a variety of reasons, many of which are not deliberate. For example, cells can starve to death, asphyxiate, or die from trauma. Cells that sustain some sort of damage, such as DNA alteration or viral infection, frequently undergo programmed cell death. This process eliminates cells with a potentially lethal mutation or limits the spread of the virus. Programmed cell death can also be a normal part of embryonic development. Frogs undergo cell death that results in the elimination of tissues. Allowing a tadpole to morph into an adult frog. Which animal has the longest gestation period? The animal with the longest gestation period is not a mammal. It is the viviparous amphibian the alpine black salamander, which can have a gestation period of up to 38 months at altitudes above 4,600 feet, 1,402 meters, in the Swiss Alps. It bears two fully metamorphosed young. What is the difference between a reptile and an amphibian? Reptiles are clad in scales, shields, or plates, and their toes have claws. Amphibians have moist, glandular skins, and their toes lack claws. Reptile eggs have a thick, hard, or parchment-like shell that protects the developing embryo from moisture loss, even on dry land. The eggs of amphibians lack this protective outer covering and are always laid in water or in damp places. Young reptiles are miniature replicas of their parents in general appearance if not always in coloration and pattern. Juvenile amphibians pass through a larval, usually aquatic, stage before they metamorphose, change in form and structure, into the adult form. Reptiles include alligators, crocodiles, turtles, and snakes. Amphibians include salamanders, toads, and frogs.
what was the likely purpose of the human appendix? Experts can only theorize on its use. It may have had the same purpose it does in present-day herbivores. Where it harbors colonies of bacteria that help in the digestion of cellulose in plant material. Another theory suggests that tonsils and the appendix might manufacture the antibody-producing white blood cells called B lymphocytes. However, B lymphocytes could also be produced by the bone marrow. The third theory is that the appendix may attract body infections to localize the infection in one spot that is not critical to body functioning. The earliest surgical removal of the appendix was by Claude Rise Amiand, 1680-1740, in England in 1736. What is petrology and what does a petrologist do? Petrology is the science of rocks. A petrologist is a person who studies the mineralogy of rocks. And the record of the geological past contained within rocks. From rocks, a petrologist can learn about past climates and geography. Past and present composition of the earth, and the conditions that prevail within the interior of the earth. How has centrifugation been used in biological applications? Centrifugation is the separation of immiscible liquids or solids from liquids by applying centrifugal force. Since the centrifugal force can be very great, it speeds the process of separating these liquids instead of relying on gravity. Biologists primarily use centrifugation to isolate and determine the biological properties and functions of subcellular organelles and large molecules. They study the effects of centrifugal forces on cells, developing embryos, and protozoa. These techniques have allowed scientists to determine certain properties about cells, including surface tension, relative viscosity of the cytoplasm, and the spatial and functional interrelationship of cell organelles when redistributed in intact cells. What is diatomite? Diatomite, also called diatomaceous earth, is a white or cream-colored, friable, porous rock composed of the fossil remains of diatoms, small water plants with silica cell walls. These fossils build up on the ocean bottoms to form diatomite. And in some places these areas have become dry land or diatomaxious earth. Chemically inert and having a rough texture and other unusual physical properties. It is suitable for many scientific and industrial purposes, including use as a filtering agent, building material, heat, cold, and sound insulator, catalyst carrier, filler absorbent, abrasive, and ingredient in pharmaceutical preparations. Dynamite is made from it by soaking it in the liquid explosive nitroglycerin.
What are the functions of the root system? The major functions of roots are, 1, anchorage in soil. 2, storage of energy resources such as the carrot and sugar beet. 3, absorption of water and minerals from the soil. And 4, conduction of water and minerals to and from the shoot. The roots store the food, energy resources, of the plant. The food is either used by the roots themselves or digested. And the products of digestion are transported back up through the phloem to the above ground portions of the plant. The roots of some plants are harvested as food for human consumption. Plant hormones are synthesized in the meristematic regions of the roots and transported upward in the xylem to the aerial part of the plant to stimulate growth and development. What health risks are associated with obesity? People who are obese are more likely to develop a variety of health problems, including Hypertension dyslipidemia, for example, high total cholesterol or high levels of triglycerides. Type 2 diabetes coronary heart disease stroke gallbladder disease osteoarthritis Sleep apnea and respiratory problems Some cancers, endometrial, breast, and colon What are Fibonacci numbers? Fibonacci numbers are a series of numbers where each, after the second term, is the sum of the two preceding numbers for example, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, and so on. They were first described by Leonardo Fibonacci, C1180 C1250. Also known as Leonard of Pisa, as part of a thesis on series in his most famous book Liberobasi, The Book of the Calculator. Published in 1202 and later revised by him. Fibonacci numbers are used frequently to illustrate natural sequences, such as the spiral organization of a sunflower's seeds. The chambers of a nautilus shell or the reproductive capabilities of rabbits. How are warts caused? A wart is a lump on the skin produced when one of the 30 types of Papillomavirus invades skin cells and causes them to multiply rapidly. There are several different types of warts, common warts, usually on injury sites, flat warts on hands. Accompanied by itching, digitate warts having finger-like projections, filiform warts on eyelids, armpits, and necks, plantar warts on the solace of the feet, and genital warts. Pink cauliflower-like areas that, if occurring in a woman's cervix, could predispose her to cervical cancer. Each is produced by a specific virus, and most are usually symptomless. Wart viruses are spread by touch or by contact with the skin shed from a wart.
Is it more economical to run an automobile with its windows open rather than using its air conditioner? At speeds greater than 40 miles, 64 kilometers, per hour. Less fuel is used in driving an automobile with the air conditioner on and the windows up than with the windows rolled down. This is due to the air drag effect the resistance that a vehicle encounters as it moves through a fluid medium, such as air. In automobiles, the amount of engine power required to overcome this drag force increases. With the cube of the vehicle's speed twice the speed requires 8 times the power. For example, it takes 5 horsepower for the engine to overcome the air resistance at 40 miles. 64 kilometers per hour, but at 60 miles, 97 kilometers per hour. It takes 18 horsepower at 80 miles. 128 kilometers per hour it takes 42 horsepower improved aerodynamics in which the drag coefficient measure of air drag effect is reduced significantly increases fuel efficiency the average automobile in 1990 had a drag coefficient of about 0.32 0.35 in the early 1960s it was 0.5 on average, and it was 0.47 in the 1970s. The lowest maximum level possible for wheeled vehicles is 0.15. Which scientific disciplines study the human body? The scientific disciplines of anatomy and physiology study the human body. Anatomy, from the Greek ana and temnion, meaning to cut up, is the study of the structure of the body parts, including their form and organization. Physiology, from the Latin, meaning the study of nature is the study of the function of the various body parts and organs. Anatomy and physiology are usually studied together to achieve a complete understanding of the human body. Which mammals lay eggs and suckle their young? The duck-billed platypus, Ornithorhynchus anatinus, the short-nosed echidna or spiny anteater. Tachyglossus aculeatus, and the long-nosed echidna, Zaglossus bruigeni. Indigenous to Australia, Tasmania, and New Guinea, are the only three species of mammals that lay eggs. A non-mammalian feature, but suckle their young. A mammalian feature. These mammals, order Monotremata, resemble reptiles in that they lay rubbery. Shell covered eggs that are incubated and hatched outside the mother's body. In addition, they resemble reptiles in their digestive, reproductive, and excretory systems. And in a number of anatomical details, Eye structure. Presence of certain skull bones, pectoral shoulder girdle, and rib, and vertebral structures. They are, however, classed as mammals because they have fur and a four chambered heart. Nurse their young from gland milk, are warm blooded, and have some mammalian skeletal features.
How is underground coal mined? There are two basic types of underground mining methods, room and pillar and long wall. In room and pillar mines, coal is removed by cutting rooms, or large tunnels. In the solid coal, leaving pillars of coal for roof support. Long wall mining takes successive slices over the entire length of a long working face. In the United States, about two-thirds of the coal recovered by underground mining is by room and pillar method. The other third is recovered by long wall mining. Coal seams in the United States range in thickness from a thin film to 50 feet, 15 meters, or more. The thickest coal beds are in the western states, ranging from 10 feet. 3 meters, in Utah and New Mexico to 50 feet, 15 meters, in Wyoming. Other places, such as Great Britain, use the long wall method. What is the difference between a hunter's moon and a harvest moon? The harvest moon is the full moon nearest the autumnal equinox, on or about September 23rd. It is followed by a period of several successive days when the moon rises soon after sunset. In the southern hemisphere the harvest moon is the full moon closest to the vernal equinox. On or about March 21st. This gives farmers extra hours of light for harvesting crops. The next full moon after the harvest moon is called the hunter's moon. What factors have contributed to the success of seed plants? Seed plants do not require water for sperm to swim to an egg during reproduction. Pollen and seeds have allowed them to grow in almost all terrestrial habitats. The sperm of seed plants is carried to eggs in pollen. Grains by the wind or animal pollinators such as insects. Seeds are fertilized eggs that are protected by a seed. Coat until conditions are proper for germination and growth. Why was 1816 known as the year without a summer? The eruption of Mount Tambora a volcano in Indonesia. In 1815 threw billions of cubic yards of dust over 15 miles, 24 kilometers, into the atmosphere. Because the dust penetrated the stratosphere, wind currents spread it throughout the world. As a consequence of this volcanic activity, in 1816 normal weather patterns were greatly altered. Some parts of Europe and the British Isles experienced average temperatures 2.9 to 5.8 degrees Fahrenheit. 1.6 to 3.2 degrees Celsius, below normal. In New England heavy snow fell between June 6 and June 11 and frost occurred in every month of 1816.
crop failures occurred in Western Europe and Canada as well as in New England. By 1817 the excess dust had settled and the climate returned to more normal conditions. What is the function of various plant nutrients? Macronutrients carbon, major component of organic molecules, oxygen, major component of organic molecules. Hydrogen, major component of organic molecules, nitrogen, component of amino acids, proteins, nucleotides. Nucleic acids, chlorophyll, coenzymes potassium, component of enzymes, protein synthesis. Operation of stomata calcium, component of cell walls, maintenance of membrane structure and permeability, activates some enzymes. Magnesium, component of chlorophyll molecule, activates many enzymes, phosphorus, component of ADP and ADP. Nucleic acids, phospholipids, several coenzymes, sulfur, components of some amino acids and proteins. Coenzyme A, chlorine, osmosis and ionic balance, iron, chlorophyll synthesis, cytochromes, nitrogenase. Which countries have uranium deposits? Uranium, a radioactive metallic element, is the only natural material capable of sustaining nuclear fission. But only one isotope, uranium-235, which occurs in one molecule out of 40 of natural uranium, can undergo fission under neutron bombardment. Mined in various parts of the world. It must then be converted during purification to uranium dioxide, UO2. Uranium deposits occur throughout the world. With approximately 75% of all known uranium deposits in Australia. Other countries with significant deposits are Kazakhstan, 17% of the world's total. Canada, United States, South Africa, Namibia, Brazil, Niger, and Russia. Canada is the largest exporter of uranium. What are the four humors of the body? The four constituent humors of the body were identified as blood, phlegm, yellow bile, and black bile, originating in the heart, brain, liver, and spleen, respectively. Empedocles of Agrigentum, 504 to 433 BCE, probably originated the theory in which he equated the body fluids to the four elements of nature, earth, fire, air, and water. These humors could determine the health of the body and the personality of the person as well. To be in good health the humors should be in harmony within the body. Ill health could be remedied by treatments to realign the humors and re-establish the harmony. How is information sent over the Internet kept secure?
Public key cryptography is a means for authenticating information sent over the Internet. The system works by encrypting and decrypting information through the use of a combination of keys. One key is a published public key, the second is a private key, which is kept secret. An algorithm is used to decipher each of the keys. The method is for the sender to encrypt the information using the public key. And the recipient to decrypt the information using the secret private key. The strength of the system depends on the size of the key. A 128 bit encryption is about 3x1026 times stronger than 40 bit encryption. No matter how complex the encryption, as with any code, keeping the secret aspects secret is the important part to safeguarding the information. Users can easily tell whether they are on a secure or non secure. Internet website by the prefix of the web page address. Addresses that begin with HTTP colon slash slash are not secure while those that begin with HTTPS colon slash slash are secure. How do we determine when ancient volcanic eruptions occurred? The most common method used to date ancient volcanic eruptions is carbon dating. Carbon dating relies on the rate of radioactive decay of carbon-14. It is used to date eruptions that took place more than 200 years ago. Charcoal from trees burned during a volcanic eruption is almost pure carbon and is Ideal for tracing the tiny amounts of carbon-14 spots in Earth's crust. The magma erupts forth and lava flows or shoots into the air as clouds of lava fragments, ash, and dust. The accumulation of debris from eruptions cause the volcano to grow in size. There are four kinds of volcanoes, Cinder cones are built of lava fragments. They have slopes of 30 degrees to 40 degrees and seldom exceed 1,640 feet 500 meters, in height. Sunset Crater in Arizona and Paracutan in Mexico are examples of cinder cones. Composite cones are made of alternating layers of lava and ash. They are characterized by slopes of up to 30 degrees at the summit. Tapering off to 5 degrees at the base. Mount Fuji in Japan and Mount St. Helens in Washington are composite cone volcanoes. Shield volcanoes are built primarily of lava flows. Their slopes are seldom more than 10 degrees at the summit and 2 degrees at the base. The Hawaiian Islands are clusters of shield volcanoes. Mauna Loa is the world's largest active volcano, rising 13,653 feet 4,161 meters, above sea level. Lava domes are made of viscous, pasty lava squeezed like toothpaste from a tube. Examples of lava domes are Lassen Peak and Mono Dome in California. How many bees are in a bee colony? On average, a bee colony contains from 50,000 to 70,000 bees. 
which produce a harvest of from 60 to 100 pounds, 27 to 45 kilograms, of honey per year. A little more than one third of the honey produced by the bees is retained in the hive to sustain the population. Which lake is no longer one of the five largest lakes in the world? The Aral Sea, located in Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan, was previously the fourth largest lake in the world with 26,000 square miles. 67,340 square kilometers, but is now the sixth largest lake in the world. It is now divided into two distinct lakes with a total area of only 13,000 square miles. 33,670 square kilometers, although the size varies with the seasons. One of the major reasons the lake has shrunk is the diversion of water for irrigation purposes. Lake Superior is the largest of the Great Lakes. The North American Great Lakes form a single watershed with one common outlet to the See the St. Lawrence Seaway. The total volume of all five basins is 6,000 trillion gallons. 22.7 trillion liters, equivalent to about 20% of the world's fresh water. Only Lake Michigan lies wholly within U.S. borders, the others share their boundaries with Canada. Some believe that Lake Huron and Lake Michigan are two lobes of one lake. Since they are the same elevation and are connected by the 120-foot, 36.5-meter deep strait of Mackinac, which is 3.6 to 5 miles, 6 to 8 kilometers, wide. Gauge records indicate that they both have similar water level regimes and mean long-term behavior. So that hydrologically they act as one lake. Historically they were considered two by the explorers who named them. But this is considered a misnomer by some. What is the secret of bonsai, the Japanese art of growing dwarf trees? These miniature trees with tiny leaves and twisted trunks can be centuries old. To inhibit growth of the plants, they have been carefully deprived of nutrients. Pruned of their fastest growing shoots and buds, and kept in small pots to reduce the root systems. Selective pruning. Pinching out terminal buds, and wiring techniques are devices used to control the shape of the trees. Bonsai possibly started during the Zhou Dynasty, 900 to 250 BCE, in China. When emperors made miniature gardens that were dwarf representations of the provincial lands that they ruled. How many muscles does it take to produce a smile and a frown? Seventeen muscles are used in smiling while the average frown uses forty-three. Why are some species more commonly used for genetic studies than others?
species with a relatively small genome, with a short generation time from seed to seed. And that are adaptable to living in captivity are appealing as experimental organisms. Even though many of these species bear little physical resemblance to humans. They do share part of our genome and so can answer some of the questions we have about genetic inheritance and gene expression. How do scientific laws differ from theories? A scientific law is a statement of how something in nature behaves, which has proven to be true every time it is tested. Unlike the general usage of the term theory, which often means an educated guess, a scientific theory explains a phenomenon that is based on observation, experimentation, and reasoning. Scientific laws do not become theories. A scientific theory may explain a law, but theories do not become laws. What is an expert system? An expert system is a type of highly specialized software that analyzes complex problems in a particular field and recommends possible solutions based on information previously programmed into it. The person who develops an expert system first analyzes the behavior of a human expert in a given field. Then inputs all the explicit rules resulting from their study into the system. Expert systems are used in equipment repair, insurance planning, training, medical diagnosis, and other areas. What was the contribution of Drive? Gorgas to the building of the Panama Canal? Dr. William C. Gorgas, 1854-1920, brought the endemic diseases of Panama under control by destroying mosquito breeding grounds, virtually eliminating yellow fever and malaria. His work was probably more essential to the completion of the canal than any engineering technique. Who were the first married couple to go into space together? Astronauts Jan Davis and Mark Lee were the first married couple in space. They flew aboard the Space Shuttle Endeavour on an eight-day mission that began on September 12, 1992. Ordinarily, NASA bars married couples from flying together. An exception was made for Davis and Lee because they had no children and had begun training for the mission long before they got married. What were some of the leading contributions of Albert Einstein? Albert Einstein was the principal founder of modern theoretical physics, his theory of relativity. Speed of light is a constant and not relative to the observer or source of light, 
and the relationship of mass and energy. E equals MC2, fundamentally changed human understanding of the physical world. During a single year in 1905, he produced three landmark papers. These papers dealt with the nature of particle movement known as Brownian motion. The quantum nature of electromagnetic radiation as demonstrated by the photoelectric effect, and the special theory of relativity. Although Einstein is probably best known for the last of these works. It was for his quantum explanation of the photoelectric effect that he was awarded the 1921 Nobel Prize in Physics. His stature as a scientist, together with his strong humanitarian stance on major political and social issues, made him one of the outstanding men of the 20th century. What is dermatoglyphics? Dermatoglyphics, the study of fingerprints, recognizes three basic patterns of fingerprints. They are arches, loops, and whorls. The lines or ridges of an arch run from one side of the finger to the other with an upward curve in the center. In a loop, the ridges begin on one side, loop around the center, and return to the same side. The ridges of a whirl form a circular pattern. Dermatoglyphics is of interest in such diverse fields as medicine, anthropology, and criminology. How serious is osteoporosis? Osteoporosis, from the Greek osteo, meaning bone, por, meaning passageway. And osis, meaning condition, is a condition that reduces bone mass because the rate of bone reabsorption is quicker than the rate of bone deposition. The bones become very thin and porous and are easily broken. Osteoporosis is most common in the elderly, who may experience a greater number of broken bones. As a result of the mechanical stresses of daily living and not from accidents or other trauma. Generally, Osteoporosis is more severe in women. Since their bones are thinner and less massive than men's bones. In addition, estrogen helps to maintain bone mass. So the loss of estrogen in women after menopause contributes to more severe osteoporosis. What is the Milky Way? The Milky Way is a hazy band of light that can be seen encircling the night sky. This light comes from the stars that make up the Milky Way galaxy. The galaxy to which the Sun and Earth belong. Galaxies are huge systems of stars separated from one another by largely empty space. Astronomers estimate that the Milky Way galaxy contains at least 100 billion stars and is about 100. 000 light years in diameter. The galaxy is shaped like a compact disk with a central bulge. Or nucleus and spiral arms curving out from the center.
what is meant by the term orphan drugs? Orphan drugs are intended to treat diseases that affect fewer than 200,000 Americans. With little chance of making money, a drug company is not likely to undertake the necessary research and expense of finding drugs that might treat these diseases. Also, if the drug is a naturally occurring substance, it cannot be patented in the United States. And companies are reluctant to invest money in such a medication. When it cannot be protected against exploitation by competing drug companies. Encouragingly, the Orphan Drug Act of 1983 offers a number of incentives to drug companies to encourage development of these drugs. The Act has provided hope for millions of people with rare and otherwise untreatable conditions. What is Gray's Manual? Gray's Manual of Botany, first published in 1848 by Asa Gray. 1810-1888, under the title Manual of the Botany of Northern United States was one of the first guides to the identification of plants of eastern North America. The publication contained keys and thorough descriptions of plants. The eighth, and centennial, edition was largely rewritten and expanded by Merritt Linden Fernald. 1873-1950, and published in 1950. This edition was corrected and updated by R.C. Rollins and reprinted in 1987 by Dioscorides Press. <laughs>